In this video, we will be talking about three different and, uh, problems that uh, give people with Asperger's difficulties in dating. I'm Craig Kahn. I've got it going on. This is Team Autism Pia, where we're dedicated to educating you about autism and how you can improve the lives of people with autism. If you're interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing so you can get our latest videos. Everyone has challenges with dating. Even people who don't have autism or Asperger's. But people who have Asperger's often have some other problems too. Because they, they, uh, Asperger's and autism are things where people can vary very much in how they are and what what they can do. And some of these things that they, they, they may have trouble with are things that for other people, even for me, can seem so basic. But there are things that can really make it so that someone's not going to want to get into a relationship with them. That doesn't mean that these are things that they're going to have to deal with all their lives. These are things that are, are able to be learned and all that. The first thing that uh, people with Asperger's may not be doing that will hurt them in dating is that they don't have life skills. What are life skills? These are things that uh, we do in our daily lives. Pay bills, you know, work, uh, and feed, and get uh, food and all that. Sometimes people may not be able to do all those different things, and that actually is going to hurt someone if they're trying to date someone who's so quote unquote normal. So uh, that's not the only option. If you're someone who is in a certain thing like a group home or something like that, maybe you could and uh, find someone who's in a group home who it would be more accepting of of what you may not be able to do. But again, as I said in the beginning, you can work on the life skills and that. And I'm going to be making a video soon. When I have it up, it's going to be linked up above. And on to the second thing. Next is friendship. I mentioned in some other videos that friendship is something that is important. That uh, friendship can act, we don't think about it, but friendship actually gives us some of the basics and that for what we do in a relationship. Going out with someone, looking at someone else's interest in that and hanging out and giving them a good feeling. These things are things that we work on in friendship and do. But a number of people I've met who have, are, have Asperger's may not actually have friends that they can hang out with and do things with. They don't realize that and that's the same thing that they may be doing with Someone that they would get married to. And so it's important. Find friends and, and all that. And I have a, a, a video and an even playlist of a lot of videos talking about friendship and what you can do to make sure that you or someone you know who has autism can make friends. Because you know what? Again, these are skills. They're learnable. You can do it. You can improve. I believe in you. The last thing is communication and social skills. These are, are two things I'm going to lump together because there's things that are often happen in the same way. That sometimes people don't realize that communication is going to be a big part of a relationship. They may think, oh, it's just the good feelings that I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. But there's other parts of, of being in a relationship. It's get, communicating and doing that there. I actually know someone who I've worked with who he's not so communicative with other people and he, 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 he would like to be in a relationship but he doesn't realize that the thing that he's going to be doing in a relationship is often talking with the person he's in a relationship with. That it's important to know that you're doing this. People don't always realize what a relationship is and that it's not always what people may think it is. But you can work on this, and also social skills, that you may be doing things that may not be so uh, um, appropriate in that situation, and, that, and people may not be attracted to you because of that, but you know what, again, you can work on those things, and m maybe even look at trying to find someone else who has some uh, pro um, difficulties in other areas that will be accepting of your challenges. You are someone who is if you're someone of, a, of autism or Asperger's, you are someone who is uh, deserving of love in that. So just know that you are someone who is deserving of love, and, and remember, don't ever forget that. 
Really, what you really need to do if you're dating is you need to make yourself the person you want to date. Improve yourself in that. Don't stop and say, oh, I'm okay with this and that. Make yourself someone that you can be proud of, that you know other people can be proud of. I hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure to uh, 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 subscribe so uh, you can get more of our videos. And I have other dating videos if you're interested too. Check them out.